Hmm. We need a part two. This is so epic and creepy. Bro, this is so epic. <laughs> Please have my babies. Fine. Man, I love seeing the nature in the forest. Wait a minute. What is that over there? Let me capture. See. Holy gosh, what is that? No. Hey, you got caught too. So right? You can't talk. Hey, there is a flashlight. There we something we gotta do with the flashlight. M. I don't know. Let me just. Ah, a a a a a a a a a. There. Now we can get business. And the duct tape is ripping off. Who's there? Need to be saved? Hey bro. Save me. Big bro. Go go go. We gotta find a way out. If I see that ugly clown I'll kick his ass. Oh hey. There's a stick here. Oh heck no that's my walking stick. Shut up bro I'll smack you with this. Alright cut this guy music. Sadly this story never got finished. It's been 4 months since the last part. If you are interested in this story, I leave a link in the description to this user's profile, and... Yeah. To be honest, I don't see a point in covering any more spooky stories, and since this is my last Reddit video ever, I'll show you a part of the story made by this guy. Maybe a bit less spooky, but it's very interesting. Okay, enjoy. I'm sorry, bro, but you've already had your rations for today. Hey, I just got here. How could I have taken rations from here? You know that we can't risk wasting food here, right? It's not wasting if I haven't eaten in the past week. It's alright, Chad. Doge can have his canned beans. They're on me. Walter, I figured you'd be here. I run this place, Doge. Ain't called Walter Town for nothing. Walk with me, Doge and Pero. Let's discuss business. I've been the lord of Walter Town for 29 years, Doge. I have made a lot of enemies in the time and they all want me dead. I need to snuff them all out before they can rally against me. But I can't do it alone. My body ain't what it used to be. That is why I need all the help I can get. So what I say, one last ride with the fire trucks and monster trucks? Of course, Walter. We'll do that for you. Si, senor. Fantastic. We'll ride at dawn. You will meet the rest of my crew then. So this is your legendary crew? Indeed, it is. Let me introduce you to M. This is Smudge, our mechanic. You made me fix a bike once. I have full faith in him. And you've met Chat. He's out muscle and weapons expert. And here's Jazz Rat. <laughs> He's a fantastic motivator. We are gonna die, aren't we? Mierda. If so, I couldn't think of a better crew to die with. No tenemos nada que hacer. Yeah, but we must do this for Walter. He's been a great friend since before the war. Esta es una misión suicida. Yeah, I know. Guys, I think I've found something. What is it? It looks like an egg dog patrol. And they have an old war rig. We shouldn't have any trouble taking them out. Right guys? Guys? Where the fuck am I? Show yourselves, you cowards. Once you hear what we have to say, I doubt you'd call us cowards. Wait, you're- No, Doge. I'm not stuff anymore. We are stuff now. Wait, stuff. What are you doing here? Walter said we were hunting down enemies. Well, he never said that their enemies weren't friends before. Any illusion of friendship with Walter ended long ago. The only way I survived was by hiding from Walter. None of the other veterans were so lucky. What are you saying? Do you remember the war, Doge? You know how it was 35 years ago. We didn't have a care in the world back then. We would go anywhere we wanted, doing whatever wacky, uncharacteristic thing came to our minds. For most of us, life was perfect. But Cheems wasn't so sure. 
He had been struggling with his secret powers for a long time by then. Looking back, I have no idea why we didn't notice, we should have helped him while we could. But we didn't. And that fucking rat got through him first. When Sheems started his rampage, time seemed to stop. We couldn't believe that he would do such things, so, when we heard that he was cornered in an old oil well, we were the first to enlist. The battle stretched out for days, and you were out of action for most of it due to your eye. I was there with Walter, holding on to my last hope that Cheems could be saved. But Walter knew he was lost. He made the decision that we would never make. And that was just the start of a long downward spiral. So, what happened then? When the world was thrown into chaos, Walter established Waltertown. This allowed him to have endless resources. Resources that he used to track down everyone close to him. He believes that his suffering should be greater than that of anyone who fought alongside him. So he thinks that our deaths will help enhance his tragedy. You know what I think? I think that you're a fucking liar. Do you want to know how the story ends? Click the link in the description and check it out for yourself. Vicville is done with Reddit content. No more. Don't ask for more. But please give some love to the creators of those comics.